hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take so i am using the nothing phone one which has snapdragon 778g cpu with the adreno 642l gpu inbuilt actually our channel is one stop solution for updating the adreno gpu drivers to the latest version for your snapdragon device you will find the complete playlist of videos we created to update the drivers of your device under video description but the major issue I faced with the Nothing Phone 1, none of drivers booted on this device all caused the boot loop issue. But after lots of intensive trials and the checks, I got Nuves OpenGL and Vulkan drivers version 744.12, which are booted and working perfectly fine with this device on the Nothing OS Open Beta 2 and 14. Previously, this device was one very old version of drivers that is version 530.51 and after using this mod, we updated our device drivers to the 744.12. This driver should work on any device which has Snapdragon 778G CPU with the Adreno 642L GPU. I have shown the proper installation process of these drivers and at the end we confirm are these new drivers really working or not with the kick pen test so watch this video till the end now without further ado let's get started on the new adventure First of all, let's check out the requirements to use these drivers. Your device must be rooted and the latest Magix version 26.4 must be installed on your device. If you still didn't done this with your nothing for one, then please follow the video link given under the video description. Now download this Magix module from the link given under the video description. Never try to use this module via direct flashing using the custom recoveries like Orange Fox or TWRV. Now open the Magix application and then install these new drivers. I already installed this driver but still I will show you the installation. While installation you will able to see the installation log in the Magix application. Here it may show the bad ROM no support type of log but don't worry ignore that. Now once flashing gets done then tap reboot the system. So device successfully booted back after flashing of this mod under the magix module section you will find the module is working properly now let's check out does our device drivers are actually updated or not use the device info application its link is available under the video description install it and open go to the cpu tab there you will find the opengl driver version and now it's showing the opengl version at the rate 3.2 744.12 similarly by using the vulcan caps your application we can check the vulcan drivers version and it's also updated to the newest 512.744.12 now the major question will arise in everyone's mind does these drivers actually boost the performance of the device or they are just placebo files so i ran the geekbench test to confirm this before installation of drivers, I already did the GPU OpenGL and Vulkan CPI test. These are the results of OpenGL API 2173 and these are the results of Vulkan Graphics API 2793. Now let's run the GPU test for the new drivers and then we will compare it with the results of the Geekbench Average Database and with the results of old GPU drivers. So for the OpenGL we got the score of 2451 which is drastically improved as compared to the Geekbench average database and as compared to the old drivers results where it was just 2173. Next for the Vulkan graphics API I got the score of 2842 and this one also got improved and slightly better than the old drivers where the results are 2793. Both for the OpenGL and Vulkan Graphics API, new drivers outperformed. In real life users, I seen the display graphics quality is also improved. Whole device display looks more sharper and with the deeper colors. Device performance also flat, slightly smoother. Actually, this driver basically improves the gaming performance, but I didn't play the games a lot, so please tell me 
if these drivers actually improves your gaming experience or not. I tested these drivers thoroughly, they didn't cause any issues for the application opening or any functional issues for the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, etc. Everything is working perfectly fine until now. If you face any issues, then you can fly the GPU cache cleaner. Its file is given under the video description. So this is all about the new drivers. I definitely recommend you to try this on your Nothing Phone 1 or any device which has Snapdragon 778G CPU. If you are an adventurous person like me, you can try and feel the drastical performance boost of your device that you never seen before. That's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of such amazing upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.